from the home of the Tigers since 2000, Comerica Park here in the Motor City Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, Reese Olsen. Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count. Well, Reese Olsen, more or less, been fairly decent for us outside of the one bad game. Uh, I, he does have a lot of home runs for his pitch count. I will say, or not, not his pitch count, his hit count. That's fair. Yeah, two home runs and six at bats is a crazy, crazy number. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball two. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why. Getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently. Okay. The results. Uh, all right, hold on. There's a lot going on in chat. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, the Nike logo on the zip ups. You did on the women's stuff. It's not on the men's stuff for whatever reason. I have no idea why. I've I've looked for it like so much and I haven't seen it. Um. Did the Tigers choke today? I was at work, so I didn't pay real close attention. Yes, it appears they did. <laughs> In the ninth? Damn it. Okay, well, this is a fun start to the game. The pitch. Oh, God. Well, that's a deserved ball, and this is a 3-0 count. Ump, you sure about that one? Jesus Christ. Let's try a sinker just to keep him guessing a little bit. Chop foul. Yeah. No, so it kind of looks like the stuff we sell at the golf course for whatever reason on our Foot Joy women's apparel. This one's grounded to Veerling. Throw across the diamond in time and one away. Um, we put our, our embroidery on Foot Joy women's stuff, like, down on, like, the left, almost the waist. And I've always hated it. But the explanation is, is that, oh, well, he, I don't know who, who came up with the explanation, but at least it was how it was explained to me, was that they didn't want to embroider a logo on, on a woman's shirt like on the chest I have no idea <clears throat> well no it's not even the foot joy logo it's our go it's our golf course logo yeah Lars Newbar is gonna be a problem today for sure as we face Brendan Donovan wait a minute what the f We've made a mistake, guys, but we're going to have to live with it. I accidentally put the Cardinals in Jackie Robinson Day jerseys. Stays alive. Sinker well low, foul it away anyway. Remains 0-2. I just noticed that. <laughs> Oops. One down, base is empty. Curveball. Bottom of the zone. Nice pitch out of Reese Olsen. Right, Jackie Robinson Day, 15 days late. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if it's our decision or if it's foot choice, but they just, I don't know, it's always there. At least in what we got last year. One thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck. Uh, JJ on Minnesota is an interesting thing. So I, I said, I mean, like, I want JJ to do well. Pretty much... Against everybody but the Lions. It's kind of where I'm at. And down in order go 
Not always going to work out that way, but I, I do want McCarthy to do well. But maybe a fun playoff matchup down the line. Olsen is unhittable. So far, that's the case. Lance Lynn. Been around for ages. He's not that slim, is he? Lance Lynn lose weight? Good Lord. Matt Veerling leads off. Had one of only a few hits for the Tigers in yesterday's game. Was a rough day on offense for us. Only one run on the solo shot for Torque. And Matt Veerling with a perfect contact to start the game. And he's let off back-to-back -back days with a single. How do we how do we justify the Jackie Robinson Day jerseys? Did St. Louis Roads, they just they they got lost on the lost luggage on the flight, right? That's goofy. Torx average back down to 259 after he got that north of 300 for a little while. But he has been hitting home runs at an insane clip, even when we couldn't get an offense going. To save our lives in yesterday's game, Torkelson does homer. Home runs all over this lineup, up and down. One and one on Tork. Yeah, I know, but my initial reaction to JJ on the Vikings was just like, oh, fuck. It means I got to root against him, you know? Two and one on Torkelson. Side profile on Lance Lynn looks a little bit more like Lance Lynn. I don't know what that shot we got at the beginning was. He looked, he looked small. Pulled foul. Change up from Lynn. Beerling has good speed, but not good steel. We'll probably keep him where he is. And Evo may have called it, and we've done it. Back-to-back -back days, except no, we haven't. That'll be an error for the Cardinals, and we get bailed out. We started yesterday's game the exact same way, Veerling with a leadoff single and then a double play, and that should have been one. But Torkelson up to second base and only one away. Riley Green launches a cutter foul. Yeah, that wings that wings collapse is unfortunate. Next offering is in That's ball strike. in. High and away. Right Own two on green. And that won't get through. Two away. Uh oh. <clears throat> uh oh. Well now it'll be carry. Power been limited as of late. Hopefully we can get that back going again. The Wings did well. I don't know what happened with the Wings, man. That that losing streak, that six-game losing streak is one of the saddest things I've ever seen. You go from playoff locks to missing the playoffs on the final day. It sucks. Carpenter fouls off a cutter 0-1. To the play. Pitching Carpenter inside. Smart thing to do, but Carpenter also has opposite field power if he gets a hold of one here. Quick go two from Lynn. And that's an easy take. One and two. The priority waste curse was. It was a thing. We almost started one of our own in Red Wings franchise. Lost the first game with that patch. I just cursed myself. <laughs> That's just not focusing on the game right there. We waste a base runner at first, and then we wasted, we almost wasted two in the same inning. That was not very fun. 
and welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Nolan Gorman. Nolan Gorman. Hey, Riley Green just doubled, scored a run. Or uh, Ibanez scored a run. Nolan Gorman wanted two solo home runs in yesterday's Cardinals win. Okay, okay. This um does not want to see us succeed. In the air, Mark Canna on the run should be able to get there, and it stays in play. I will give them the smallest bit of credit in that they actually admitted that the uniforms are shit. However, I mean, it's it's obvious. It was kind of funny to me that they didn't place any of the blame on Fanatics. They were just like, no, no, it's all Nike. How much did Fanatics pay MLB to make that statement? Fastball popped up foul again. Jake Rogers underneath it. Get out of the way, ball boy. <laughs> Bearded ball boy is, oh, no, that's the bat boy. Yeah, the Raiders shirt. I don't. I don't wear it very often, but that's kicking around from our our Raiders franchise in Madden this past fall. I almost wore the hat today too, but I feel like I feel like I I pay way too much attention to like making sure I wear the right Tigers cap if we're home or away. I was like, I can't wear a Raiders hat today. Lars Newtbar hit the other solo shot for the. Cardinals in game one of the series, and he nearly did it again. New bar batting 364. I would imagine that's still tops in the NL. Curveball. Not called a strike. That one at least is a 50-50 ball. I can't be too mad about that, but... Sinker fouled off. I don't know if maybe the contract with Fanatics isn't as long. I mean, Nike's got that contract for 10 years. Right back up the middle, and Lars Newtbar is going to do it again. Wilson Contreras with two away in the second. I would say just go back to Majestic, but I'm fairly certain Nike bought out pretty much their entire MLB operation. You are getting an extra little bit of a lead there. We gotta watch that. Fast ball will miss. Yeah, no, of course it was this year that the Nike Fanatics nonsense has been going on. Because this is the year I said I was like, I wanna, I, I need to get a new Tiger jersey. I don't even have a, a, a jersey from since they changed the old English D on the front. My Tiger jerseys are old. In the air, Riley Green over. It'll end the inning. Lars Newtbar does Lars Newtbar things, but Cardinals can't get anything going. Scoreless as we head to the bottom of the second. Mark Canna, Jake Rogers, and even Zach McKinstry, who's been hitting the ball hard as of late. Hey, sounds good. I'm I'm I want all uh, one of all three of the new ones. Even though the blacks aren't my favorite, <clears throat> um, I've never been team black jersey for the Lions. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna get one though. So I already have them like bookmarked in my uh, web browser. It's a good thing I'm not buying them right now. I'm gonna buy them like one at a time. Be a little bit financially responsible for once, and. Uh, it's a good thing I'm not doing that immediately because I'm fairly certain the majority of them are out of stock right now. Lynn, back to work. Mark Canna, line drive, one pitch, one out. I never had a uh, one of the black jerseys the first time around. Yeah, right? Who is the one guy that... Uh, that was basically the face of Toot Bland. Mark Can is the face of good aim. 
That was such a stupid swing. What am I doing? Two pitches, two outs. We are bailing out, Lance Lynn. Can I just whiff on that when I do something stupid? All right. Well, we got to have it at bat here a little bit with uh, Lance Lynn just to get him to a 10-pitch average through the first two innings. That will help. Thank you, umpire. Good to see the zone is... Well, I don't even know what to describe the zone here today. This that this might be the worst zone we've seen all year. Yeah, this is an Angel Hernandez. I would say this is an Angel Hernandez zone, but his zone's usually big. And a pitch. Hammered by McKinstry, but foul. No, I don't have any black jerseys. I actually almost bought one of the gray ones right after TJ Hawkinson got traded because they were going for so dirt cheap. Uh, but then I was like, no, they're gonna they're gonna change the jersey. It was like you know, year and a half, two years away from the jersey change that we knew about anyway. So I was like, nah, I'm not gonna buy one. Had a feeling those were going away. Fouled away by McKinstry, staying one and two. All right. So good to know that the, the throwbacks are remaining in the jersey repertoire for the Lions because that means my, my St. Brown jersey is still current. Make it full on McKinstry. Now, I'm not stupid when it comes to the, the slurves and the sliders inside all the time. Just every now and then. That, however, man, oh, man. <sighs> I am broken after yesterday. And Lance Lynn isn't even pitching that well compared to what we saw. Oh, God. They didn't even put a beard back on Matt Carpenter. He's still rocking the mustache from the Yankees. Oh, no. Yeah, Miles Mikolas had a day against us yesterday. There was nothing we were doing. Lynn, however, has thrown us some hittable pitches, and that last one was just a stupid take. Oh, that's in the air. Center field. Meadows moving in. He's not going to get there. Lead off single for Matt Carpenter, who just... <laughs> I didn't even realize that he was still in the league. He almost wasn't, and then the Yankees picked him up last year. Alec Burleson, next up for the Cardinals. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Working on a five-game hitting streak. The heck is Alec Burleson? Carpenter. I love how his name is literally... Remember, Nate Burleson of the Lions. Spelled the same. That's a gross slider, and it's a single back up the middle and a base hit. Not great speed coming from first. Two on, nobody out to start the third. We need to stop saying dumb, dumb shit. Who the hell is, uh, who the hell is Burleson? Gets a hit off us. I'm getting bored scoring all these runs. Never scores again. Tommy Edmond looks at a ball. Runners on the move, and it's a hit and run. Mark Canna underneath it. Hit and run with two runners on. <laughs> that could have gone catastrophic for the Cardinals. I mean, they only scored two runs in the first game of the series. I guess maybe they're desperate for some offense, too. Her ball missed. We have thrown a lot more balls than we're accustomed to today. That one in the air. Parker Meadows is there. Wild throw, but backed up by... Reese Olsen, two away, and the runners stay where they are. Blame the rain. <laughs> How are we going to blame the rain? 
Change up in for a strike on Goldschmidt. And popped up. Veerling's going to have a chance. Foul territory. It'll stay in play. And Reese Olsen pitches around. A couple of singles to start the inning. Where, oh, where has our offense gone? Javier Baez. 8-9-1 for Detroit. Baez before yesterday had been really uh, picking it up at the plate for us. Had a great series uh, against KC. Last few series has actually been a reliable bat for us. Cutter got me out in front. I was hoping it was going to miss. Either whiff on that or take it for a strike. The result's the same. Ball one. If that would have been called a strike, I would have lost my mind. If we get any strike outside of the zone today, uh, it's completely out of nowhere. Two and two on bias. I mean, Javi raised his average a good 50 points at one point. It's back down to 231 now, but he was really hovering around the Mendoza line much of April. And he popped it up. Late on the slurve. That'll be out number one. Jack Flaherty tied an American League record today by striking out seven to open the game. That's incredible. Also feels like... I would have thought the record would have been more. But I guess to start the game, that is, that is saying something. And yet, no offense. So, MLB The Show 24, realistic? I think so. 0-2 on Meadows. One down, base is empty. He goes down looking. He went back to the fastball again. Up and in to Parker Meadows. Truth be told, Meadows probably whiffs on that anyway. Uh, so once again, Veerling... Bats for the second time with our only hit of the game. Ball, Ball one. one and oh. Ooh. Fouled off. A little bit too far out in front on it. Oh, no, you're probably right. And yet, he's not in the lineup today. Smacked, but foul again. Two out spaces empty. They're doing a good job of changing speeds and just keeping us on our toes. And that one hammered by Matt Veerling. Left center field. That is going to get down. And it's an automatic double for Matt Veerling. He's got two hits in the game. The only Tiger with a hit. And both of them are perfect contact. Extends the inning for Torque. Zone remains small. Ball one. Well, if he's going to get some help, Torque's a good candidate for it. Check swing. Did he go? Except that's the nastiest cutter I've ever seen. We just saw the cutter. It didn't do anything. And then that one did it all. Ripped foul on the sinker. Excellent K target. You're not wrong there either. Either. Perfectly placed slurve. And Lance Lynn gets out of it again. Am I still taking Thursday off? Uh, that's my plan. 
I want to do a uh, practice round at uh, Evian tonight because there's a good chance I play round one of the French Championship tomorrow. But also, my work schedule on Thursday is a little bit up in the air. I'm going to say I'm going to be working. Uh, but we don't really know if we're going to open up yet. Now, it's a pretty much like a 90% that we're not. But if we are going to open up this weekend, I will be off all day Thursday. And I'll probably stream at some point. Let's be honest. I'll get bored. Sinker in to Nolan Gorman. That one back up the middle, and maybe we would have had a chance with Javi Baez if we didn't start in on that. But yet another leadoff single for the Cardinals. Yeah, that may be my first day without a stream in quite some time. Yes, yes, they are. Hey, 3 0 Tigers. Wenzel Perez! Just got his first Major League home run the other day, which is when I learned how to pronounce his name. Wenzel like pencil. And there he goes. Runner on the move. They try to hit and run again. I could go hit some balls at, uh, at the city course here in town. I don't really want to go to their range, though. That's a gross slider. Luckily, fouled away by Arenado. I know Austin went and rolled some putts, but it was like 80. What a take by Arenado. What a take. One and two. Just missed. That's fair. I just want to see if I'm going to be ass at golf. Answer's probably yes. Slider. Fouled away by Nolan. That's why he's one of the best. More so his glove, but he is certainly not a slouch at the plate either. Curve. On the ground could be two. Torkelson, Tobias, back to Torque. And with Arenado's speed, that never had a chance. 3-6-3. Three, three. I'm excited to, to actually, you know, swing a club with my, uh, uh, my new golf shoes, honestly. So I had some real junk Adidas for years and years. I finally bought, like, a new pair. So I'm excited about that. Although Austin will tell you, if you need golf shoes, then uh, you're swinging that you're swinging too hard. Don't know if I buy that entirely. <clears throat> it certainly helps, even if you don't swing too hard. And I don't. My swing speed's not insane, but anything helps. I'm sure in principle that's probably right. Riley Green leads off the fourth. 39 pitches through three for Lance Lance. He turns on the rubber. Here with that good live arm delivers. Well, it's not the fact that my, my Adidas, they didn't tear down. It was just the fact that they, they hurt. Really, really rigid structure. Sucked. Not a lot of giving them anywhere. The wind of the pitch. Basically boots. Like constructed almost to the point that my boots give more. Either pair of boots I have. Quick 0-2 on green. Lance Lynn. Pitching fairly decent, but thankfully so is Reese Olsen. And, pitch. and that one again smacked. But again, foul. Little floater sinker. Try the same pitch again. Kind of mindful of the slurve inside here. Left hand hitter waits. Pitch Actually goes cutter. 
Had a feeling after going to the sinker elevated two straight times, he was going to try and uh, throw something inside. Just wasn't sure what. Kicks and fires. And that one right back up the middle. And Riley That's Green a barely a has a base hit. Center. No. And, and like, shoes that are a little bit more structured, a little bit more, that, that, that don't give as much, aren't always a bad thing. Uh, but for golf, when there's just a lot of weight transfer between the feet and everything, it, it was never really ideal. So now I've got these, uh, these Travis Matthews that basically look like just boat shoes, honestly. But uh, they should... Uh, they should be perfect. Okay, oh, Kerry Carpenter, left field. Little bit of a hanger. I think it's staying in the park. It's not. Home run, Kerry Carpenter. Ball just kept carrying. 11th of the year. Offense, finally. Bottom of the fourth. I guess I shouldn't say finally. There's no outs in the fourth. Really hasn't been that long, but it feels like a long time after yesterday. Tigers first lead of the series, and Carey goes oppo again. Wasn't it the Salvador Perez home run against KC that was just in the air forever? This one at least 98 exit uh, velocity. Could have been worse on a hanging sinker. That's, in there. That's a really good strike one on Mark Canna. That one slapped foul. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Right hander kicks deals. Went around, so they say. Wow. Yeah, yes, we did. Rogers popped it up. Rogers has been retired twice on two pitches, two away in the fourth. That was very hittable. That's why I don't feel real bad about swinging at it. I mean, that's middle. Little bit towards the inside of the middle of the plate, if that's really a thing. You, you get what I'm saying. All right. That's a strike now. Tommeled away by McKinstry. Two runs across in the inning. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Now that should that first pitch should be a strike, but it hasn't been called one all day. Pitch one and two on McKinstry. Two. two home on the Kerry Carpenter home run. McKinstry stays alive. Been in the lineup a lot as of late. Just been squaring everything up. Two outs. And eh, not really squared up on that. Line drive to first though. But Carpenter goes deep again for the 11th time in, in this season to make it 2 nothing. Look how late we were on that ball. Back here in Detroit, all set for the start of the inning. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. And not yet. Swing and a tapper that the clouds, <laughs> clouds could clear. Yeah, the righty deals. Oh. That's off the mark. Or is this is this not a day game? I guess I haven't really paid attention. It's a day game. It's just cloudy. Reese Olson, pitch number fifty-one. Yeah. After that pitch, I'm surprised we don't have the leadoff man on for St. Louis for the third time in three innings. 
Curveball. Got him swinging. Contreras down. Yep. That's the thing yesterday with Flaherty. I mean, he was he was lethal at times. <laughs> Matt Carpenter, a great free agent sign. You see, it's a line drive right to Tort, two away. It's funny to say about a longtime St. Louis Cardinal that I think was only gone a year. Here's Burleson. On the ground to McKinstry. Well, Reese Olsen pitching with a lead for the first time today. It goes well. Well, teams with four hits, Tigers with two runs. 8 9 1 do up. That's Baez, Meadows, and Veerling. Yeah, I guess. I guess we could have lost 3 1 instead of 2 1. And here comes. Ball one from Lance Lynn. If we have a long inning against him here, we could possibly chase him. Yeah, 2 0. Get him to like 70 pitches. Not sure he comes back out for the sixth. Okay, there, there it is. You figured it was coming. The zone had been small, consistently small, all day until that. The pitch. That one finds the corner, and it's two and two. That same pitch, pitch number four there, has been called the ball today. Two and two. Lyons stays alive on the slurve, not Lynn's best. And a pitch. Full and count. another ball. Full count on Javier Baez. Yeah, a little bit. Back up the middle, but right back to Lance Lynn. For the big target. We ain't getting the ball past him. Meadows 0 for 1. On the ground. Oh, my goodness. What a good pitch to hit. Parker. We've got, we've got first week of the season Parker Meadows back. I mean, I should move my camera just for a second so you can see. Come on. There's nothing else I can do. Outside of maybe not aiming the ball down, but I feel like you get a lot more line drives. Bulls hit hard that way. All in one on Veerling. Not a good day for check swings. That one wasn't even close. We definitely went around. 0-2. Lance Lynn, no doubt, going to come back out for the sixth. Two-run shot for Kerry Carpenter is all the offense either team has. Top of the order due up for the Cardinals. Edmund, Donovan, Goldschmidt. And we're back. Top of the sixth inning. And the batter will be the shortstop. Tommy Edmund. Tommy Edmund. Olsen. Back to work. Third trip through the order against Reese Olsen. That's ball one. Yeah, we do have to worry about Newt Bar. Because so far, through a game in six innings, he's showcased that he can hit for both average and power. Now, to be fair... He only has two hits, which in this series feels like 
He's been a star. Not really anybody going off here in this three-game set so far. Curveball, foul. Deerling is trying. Fastball, swing and a miss from Tommy Edmond. 96, it's one of the few starters we have on this team with some velocity in Reese Olsen. And that fastball blown by Tommy Edmond. Donovan looks at ball one, change up, misses badly. Try and get him late on a sinker. Ah! Um. One down, base is empty. Fastball fouled away. Makes the count two and one. Strike one and a half. And another ball. Three and one from Reese Olsen. We. Wow, if we wind up putting somebody on here, we're going to get the bullpen up. And, yeah, that's a really good take, though. He flinched as well. Olsen, 66 pitches. I think he's still got more, but we're going to see if he can get out of this. Sixth inning, let's go with Holton. And fight him. Runner, takes off. Runner on the move, but it's popped up. Cardinals' third hit and run of the game. And not one of them has been successful. Uh, No, I don't know if he's... I'm sure it probably flashed up, but... Here's Nolan Gorman, one for two. I did not pay attention. Nolan Gorman, two away. Fastball in, although really poor location. Oh, God. Thank goodness that is a line drive to Javi Baez. That was a miserable pitch. Think we got to think about taking Reese Olsen out of the game, especially with our offense not really doing much, unless we can get a couple more runs here in this half inning. Don't want to mess around with uh, with blowing this. Torkelson, one for six in the series, the solo home run yesterday. Good fastball to start the at-bat from Lance Lynn. Two well-located fastballs, 0-2. Tiny bit behind that last one. Next offering is outside. When in doubt, blame Woody. It's definitely not Woody back there. And that one hammered by Torque. Left center field, or right center field, rather. That's going to get down. Deepest part of the ballpark, and Torkelson is going to turn and head for three. And Spencer Torkelson with a leadoff triple. He don't get many of those. Could go a very long way. Stand-up triple as well. And that is what will chase Lance Lynn. In a way, kind of feel bad for Lance Lynn. He's, uh, he's pitched fairly well today, but the two-run shot. And then that triple, perhaps a little bit of a quick trigger, but that's today's baseball. Here's Zach Thompson, game number 11. Average ERA. Flaherty syndrome a little bit. But the Cardinals haven't had their Torkelson yet. Ooh, we've got a lefty here. 
Well, let's nail down who we're going to use uh, in the seventh inning. Arenado, Newt Bar, and Contreras. Ew. Well, so since we used Chafin yesterday, I'd like to stay away from him. So I'm going to sit down Fiedo and warm up Will Vest. Riley Green just fine against lefties. It's Carpenter I'm worried about. Riley Green back up the middle, and Zach Thompson makes a no-look backhand play. How many times have we seen that this year? Well, here's Carpenter. Looking for his first hit of the year against a left-handed pitcher. Yeah, forget small ball. They're kind of living and dying by the long ball so far in this one. We haven't seen a left-handed starter in ages. It's why Carpenter's just been in the lineup every day. Let's see if he can finally get one. And yes, he can! That one's through! And not only is it through, it is all the way to the warning track. Three to nothing, Tigers. And it looked like it almost stunned the outfield that it got through. It looked like they weren't really hoofing it until the ball got there. <laughs> Cart picker, rejoice. Still only one away in the inning. Mark Kenna. That one. Whoa. Did that cutter leak over the plate? But out in front. Way faster than the or way slower actually than the cutter featured by Lynn. Line out to third. Probably a line out to left. Honestly. Look at him pull something. Oh my god! Oh, how did we miss it? We were out in front as well. An absolute hang in 12 6. Christ alive. Two and two on Canna. And that's a chopper back to the pitcher again. Runner advances to third. Not exactly third base. Square the ball up too well. Well, Jake Rogers, this is interesting here. He does not get many opportunities against left-handed pitching. And good chunk of the time that he does, he's made him pay. Oh! That cutter. Two outs and one and score Certain position. change from Lance Lins. Got to wait back on it a little while, little while longer. There it was again. He actually ramped up on it. Quick going two on two cutters. Two outs. Curveball in the dirt. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate. And now the lefty. Good job to fight that one off. Really nice change up from Thompson. All right. Oh, that that got away for a second. But Contreras gets it. Really looked like it wanted to roll and didn't. Two and two. And make it three and two. To be fair, if you got McKinstry coming up, I feel like you'd rather face him for sure than Rodgers with 90 power against lefties. Oh! The only problem with Rodgers' 90 power against lefties is that his contact's at like 40. And that's a walk to Jake Rogers. 
It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the well, McKinstry with two away. I think it was a calculated kind of trying to manage the stamina in the lineup. Otherwise, I might pinch hit here. We're gonna leave McKinstry in. Ball one. Up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Bounce to the right side. Not a strikeout, but a ground out. Tigers out a run. Carrie Carpenter with a long double. It's certainly not the offense we were having. I mean, St. Louis is proven much more of a test than really anybody we've seen in a week. Arenado to hit. We will go with. We'll go with the matchups. We'll go with uh, Will Vest here. I thought about putting the lefty in just to try and get Newt Bar out. We face two righties in this inning. I feel like I'd rather go with Vest. <laughs> However, we've got to locate. Fastball fouled away by Arenado. Oh, that's a gross pitch. Arenado made contact on that. The throw from Baez well in time. All right. Yeah, yeah, he did. I don't know why, but yes, he did. Lars Newtbar has a whole bunch of cold zones against righties. Not exactly the time for the umpire to have a small zone. Sinker fouled off one and one on Newtbar. Dude! The worst 2-1 count of my life. What the fuck? 2-2 two and two on Newt Bar. Whoa! That slider got away from us. But Lars Newt Bar strikes out. Will Vest got him. That helps indeed. That is two pretty bad swings on Will Vest sliders in this inning. Fastball too tall. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second game of the series. I mean, he can be. On the ground, Veerling has it. Sets his feet and fires. One, two, three inning for Will Vest. Stretch time now. Baez, Meadows, and Veerling do up. Ryan Fernandez. What are those cheekbones and what is that mustache? This is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now it's Javier Baez. Javier Baez, 0 for 5 in the series. Not a hater of mustaches, but they do. SDS did not do a good job on this guy. I wanna, I wanna say. Like Ryan Fernandez, what does this guy look like? I'm gonna guarantee nothing like that. Oh no, is it? It's Fernandez. <laughs> I say I like your stash, but oh god, <laughs> looks nothing like him. It's the cheekbones, really. The stash isn't the problem. Percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. God damn. Okay, that's certainly an O2.
Small zone all day, except a few times when we've been at bat. Upstairs. Out away by Baez. I don't think that's getting out of play, and it doesn't. One away. Late on the cutter, and that's actually the fastest cutter we've seen of the day at 93 miles an hour. Here's Meadows, 0 for 2. I think about our bullpen. We're going to sit down Holton, probably go with Lang for the 8th. Give him the full back-end experience. And Parker Meadows finally has a hit today. All right. Call me crazy, but we're stealing a base. We're at least going to try. And he got a good jump. Not a fastball, throw is high, and an easy stolen base for Parker Meadows. One and a one, Veerling as well. We took a slider away. Out in front of the cutter, slowed it down to 91. Man, <sighs> one and two on Matt Fearling. Right-handed reliever, chopper. That may be a base hit for Fearling, and it is. Two runners, both with speed, on a chopper on a cutter. Out of the zone! Out of the zone away! And Veerling reaches for his third hit of the day. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. 3 nothing Tigers, two on, one out. Oh! That's the last thing I would have expected to tour two straight fastballs. That's a good protect. Remains 0-2. In I'm a little bit conscious of that inside part of the plate now. After what the umpire's been doing here. On the ground. Fair ball! Meadows will score. Veerling to third. Torque with a single to the outfield. That's back-to-back well-placed hits. I mean, the swinging bunt from Veerling with good speed, and then Torque just avoids the bag down the third base line for nothing. Now Riley Green, this we can really break this game open. In the air. It's not going to leave the ballpark. But that'll be an easy sacrifice fly for Riley Green. Without a throw, 5-0. Well, we can actually go back to the bullpen here. And uh, sit down the back end, at least for now. We'll sit down Lang. Warm up Holton. Warm up Fiedo. That vest could pitch through a batter or two in the eighth. That's out. Ball one to Carpenter. Two, two for three. Home run eight. and a double. Bottom of the seven. Ooh, cutter. That one fouled off. One and one. Okay, yeah, two and one. Ball. Yeah, the... <laughs> We got to nine hits somehow. We had one hit, one trip through the order. Oh, 
And Carpenter caught out there and left to end the seven. Thought we had a little bloop single, but no. Parker Meadows started it off. Matt Veerling with a bunt single, kind of swinging bunt single. Torkelson, a single down the line, scored a run. An eventful inning. Oh, Dicks. I wasn't paying attention. It's Alex Lang. Well, to be fair, we have not used Lang a lot this year at all. So, we'll be all right. Or will we? The good news is, is that there's bullpen action up, and we're up by five. Two and one on Carpenter. Yeah, the right hander deals. Good knuckle curve. It's two, two and two. two. Lang's got a good fastball. Let's try and use it. Oh, what a take from Matt Carpenter, man. What a take. Left hand batter waves. Oh, that's a rocket. Riley Green. Backhand play. One gone. That's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yep. yourself that it was a very good at bat. Alec Burleson. Swing and a foul straight back. I feel like because I sat laying down and then entered him into the game, he is a little bit all over the place, but down and out. Hope he can continue to do so. In the air, Riley Green again. Green settles under it. Drops into the glove. Two away. And there's two away. Can't argue the results. The Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis. Top of the order for St. Louis swings around. Tommy Edmond. For three. A fly out of ground out and a strikeout. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Not sure what we're at for pitches. 11? Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece, and it stays on. Retire him here in a pitch or two. We could think about going into the ninth with Lang, but it's probably not very wise, especially now. Edmund's fouling off fucking everything we throw at him. Two outs. And a line drive to Javi Baez. Baez fires Bottom of the eighth we go. Tigers lead 5 0. Nothing doing there for Cardinals got my offense from yesterday. Five nothing deficit. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Andrew Kittridge. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out. We get some different bullpen action up. I think it's tough to get up for this type of I'm going to warm up Foley. No, well, never mind. We don't. We won't need Foley. Um, I don't really trust Wentz with a five-run lead. Let's go with uh, Fido. Mark Canna, 0 for 3. Kittredge, the new pitcher. I believe we saw him yesterday. Good sinker, down and in. <clears throat> yeah, it's not even the, the game yesterday that has me confused, but when it comes to the Kansas City series, we saw so many relievers. It's crazy. A lot of names in the last week. Rays, too. On the inside Sinker into Jake Rogers. We have not done him any favors today. 0 for 2. And swung at a lot of garbage. Good slider. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Quick go two. In the air from Rogers, but gonna stay in the ballpark easily. 
it in for the out. Rogers 0 for 3 with a walk. Now back, second base. Two outs, base is empty. Zach McKinstry up now for the Tigers. And now McKinstry also 0 for 3. Foul ball. How confident are we that we're we're going to be all right in the ninth? Because it's looking like Fiedo. Back up the middle. Oh, man. Zach McKinstry with a rocket. Ah, 104 mile exit velocity from McKinstry. He is just perfect contact. I don't know what it is with McKinstry. A lot of the hits I get with him, more so than probably anybody else in the lineup, are perfect contact. And the first pitch misses for ball one. I tried to ash the pitcher. Two and zero on bias. McKinstry, the runner at first with two gone. Out in front on that. Two and one. In the air, right field. This has a chance for Javi Baez. Oh, my goodness. We got robbed at the wall. Oh, of course it's Lars Newbar. Javi Baez gets robbed of home run number four. Come on. Is Lars Newtbar on an MVP campaign? 14 pitches for Lang. He will not be able to get through the inning. We're going to try and go with Alex Fajardo. But we allow a base runner. Going to have to rethink. Brendan Donovan, 2-3-4 for the cards. In the air, Mark Canna on the run. Got it. Whew. Close. That drops. It could really jumpstart something with Goldschmidt, Arenado, Newt Barr still to come. But that first out feels huge. Change up, Goldschmidt out in front. The Tigers leading by five here at the top of the ninth. I gave him what he was looking for, and that gets through. I was actually trying to get him to pop it up, but squared it up so perfectly right back up the middle. Ah, we missed low, too. Here's Gorman. Change up in. Quick two strikes on Gorman. Struggles against righties, huh? God, that's that's a gross pitch. Real gross. That was two, and it's a base hit. Throw from Meadows. They sent the runner, and safe as Veerling can't make the tag. Runners on the corners. One away. Going to have to get Jason Foley up. Just on the off chance that this gets out of hand. Here's Arenado. Change up foul. We have to at least face Arenado here with Fajardo. Oh, we got him swinging. Now we're going to throw that again. Doesn't chase. Fastball in. Fouled away. You can change up down and away. The one two. 
And on the ground, this is going to be a tough play for Matt Veerling. Sets his feet two away. A run scores. The shutout's over. As long as the Cardinals don't go crazy here, we'll even up this series at a game apiece. However, it's Lars Newtbar. Ball one. So far, here the second game of the series. Howling off. Yeah, that's why I'm not super worried about him. On the ground to Zach McKinstry. Tigers even up the series. 5-1 over the St. Louis Cardinals in game two. Got a little scary. Not like lose the game scary, but getting too close for comfort scary. Detroit does win again. We had won 13 straight, lost yesterday. Reese Olsen, his fifth win of the year. Lance Lynn's record drops below 500 at 2-3. Tigers and Cardinals rubber match tomorrow.